Day, good day, good day, everyone, and welcome to the best school in Port of Spain. I am Johan Cooper. I'm currently an upper six student here, and sadly, this is my final year. But welcome to you all. You have so much to learn and gain, and just so much fun to have. Uh, this is St. Mary's College. This is the CIC family, the boys of the old white and blue. And believe me, you're going to enjoy it here. Hello, my name is Rani Mohammed. I am from class 221 and welcome to the same family. Online schooling might be a little bit challenging, but it's also a lot of fun. And remember that your teachers and classmates are always there to help you and guide you with your schooling. So don't be afraid to ask a question or speak out. I too look forward to the day I can be physically in school so I can meet my friends and play my favorite sport hockey. Welcome to St. Mary's College, also known as CIC, the College of Immaculate Conception. My name is Matthias Marquez and I am an upper six student of St. Mary's College. What I'm here to tell what I'm here to tell you is that St. Mary's College is a prestigious school. In our school we offer many things from scouts, football, cricket, swimming, track and field, computer science club, even geography club. Anything you want to do from the football to the cricket to the table tennis, basketball, tennis, anything that you want, we surely have it here. So these coming years, it's going to be, right now it's a little bit difficult with the COVID and you can't really come in school to enjoy it. I mean, on your first, on your first assembly here, you would have gotten a big standing ovation from the crowd as welcoming you as well. But this is what we have to do. This year, hopefully, football and sports will start back and hopefully you guys will be in school experiencing what the real school life is. Good day, my name is Marvin Galadrus. I'm a Form 6 student here at St. Mary's College and I would like to formally welcome the new Form 1s here to the school with us and I hope they have a very prosperous and productive seven years here at the school. I know some of you may be nervous, I myself understand, but I have been in your shoes before. But I'm here to reassure you that in this institution you will be nothing but welcome. Good day everybody, my name is Kyle Burgess and I'm a Form 4 student at attending St. Mary's College. I'm a member of the 600 Sea Scouts and I'd like to formally congratulate everyone that passed for St. Mary's College. Congratulations from me to you, to everybody, and I hope that you succeed in learning everything you want to do in this school. Hi, my name is Kyle Hogan and I am in 311. I just want to say congratulations to all the four months who came in. Us, the students and the teachers, were really, really proud of you. And I hope that you have a fun and productive time at CIC, the best college in Trinidad and Tobago. So welcome to CIC and welcome. And I hope you really enjoy school, real fun. Y'all will have real friends to meet and y'all will have a wonderful journey. And first choice, second choice, whatever choice, it was a great choice. Congratulations, you have made it. You are here, you are part of the St. Mary's College team. Welcome to St. Mary's College. My name is Rome and this is your Form 1 orientation. Now we know things are a bit different. For the past year, you all have been studying really, really hard virtually at home in Standard 5 to become our St. Mary's College Form 1 students. And we want to welcome you with our open arms because it's a bit different this year. We know the pandemic hit all of us. We didn't know this was going to happen, but we at St. Mary's College, we know how to pivot. We know how to move. We know how to move, go with the flow and here we are virtually welcoming you all. And I can guarantee you that when you come into these hallowed halls, this is our centenary hall. You're going to see it in person very, very soon, and we'll be able to welcome you in person. So today, we're going to run you through a couple of the programs. You're going to meet some of your teachers, some of your deans, your principal, and you're going to hear a lot more about this school. My name is Rome, and welcome once more to your Form 1 Orientation. <laughs> Right. 
Before we do anything at St. Mary's College, we always give thanks and praise to the Most High. And to kick us off with our opening prayer, we invite Deacon Derek Walcott. I want to wish everybody a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, whenever you are watching this. My name is Deacon Derek Walcott. Actually, this is my alma mater, and therefore it's, it's wonderful that I should be greeting you all. It's wonderful that I should be just sowing some seed here, and hopefully it will fall on good soil. Guys, the, you're, begin, you're being given an amazing opportunity to be part of one of the best learning institutions in the whole Caribbean, and I dare say the whole world. You are members of St. Mary's College, College of the Immaculate Conception. And it's amazing that um, this day of induction, when you're greeted into the St. Mary's College family, that the message from the gospel, I think, speaks to all of us, speaks to you and I. And what's the message from the gospel? Actually, it's a gospel according to Luke. So I'm just going to read for you the first couple paragraphs of this amazing gospel. So we normally start like this. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 8, verses 4 to 15. And it goes like this. With a large crowd gathering and people from every town finding their way to him, Jesus used this parable. A sower went out to sow his seed. As he sowed, some fell on the edge of the path and was trampled on. And the birds of the air ate it up. Some seed fell on rock, and when it came up, it withered away, having no moisture. Some seed fell amongst thorns, and the thorns grew up with it and choked it. And some seed fell into rich soil and grew and produced its crop a hundredfold. Saying this, he cried, listen, anyone who has ears to hear the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am hoping that you guys will be like good soil so that what you learn in this beautiful institution will bear a lot of fruit. We heard in the gospel some fell on rocks, some fell on thorns, right? Some fell on the path. The amazing, beautiful gift from God is that God is always sowing seed. So sometimes, maybe today, the seed that God is sowing fell amongst the thorns and it was choked. But God is sowing seed every day in your lives. I want you to forget everything that has gone past. I want you to forget if you've made little mistakes, and this is for daddies and mummies too. Let the soil that you are be rich soil today and every day, and just take one day at a time. And if one day it fell on bad soil, that's okay. God is still there sowing his seed in you. So, my brothers and sisters, my brothers, those joining with us, bloom where you are planted. Bloom where you're planted. You're planted right here in St. Mary's College. And I want you to just imagine, imagine great things for yourself. Come up with a goal. Start a plan from right now. I know you're very young. Some of you guys are just... 10, 11, 12, maybe 13. But I want you to have a goal for yourselves. Just make one little goal. You know, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best today. I'm going to do my best this term. And if you take care of that goal that you're setting every single day, you will be rich soil. St. Mary's boys. Parents of St. Mary's boys. I want to open this welcome to all of you with a prayer. And so we start in, yes, my alma mater, the place that shaped me, the place that molded me to become a Roman Catholic deacon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. And I pray that the Lord will always be with you, and he wants to be with you always. 
I pray that today as you begin this journey with Almighty God and his blessed mother, that you would say like her, be it done unto me according to thy word. May God keep you safe. May God bless you. May God's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May he reveal his face and give you peace. And may you grow up in this wonderful space called St. Mary's College. May you grow up to be beautiful young men, strong young men, men that Almighty God is looking for right now in this world. He needs us men. And you are being shaped to be a young man. May God bless you, and glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And I love this prayer. This is a prayer that I say every day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with me. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to St. Mary's College. Thank you very much, Deacon Walcott. And now to give our opening remarks, someone who was actually a dean when I was back in St. Mary's College, and he is now our school principal. Let us welcome Mr. Nigel Joseph. Hello again, and welcome. And let me say again, congratulations to you young men who are now joining the family of St. Mary's College. And in no way will I exclude parents so welcome to you parents. And I am sure that over the next five or seven years, your experience, your time here will truly be an enjoyable one. One that you will remember and one that after all is said and done, we hope to see our boys transform into young men, successful leaders to, to launch out into the society, into the world out there. Last Wednesday, I would have met with you all as we first had our online registration and welcome to you. And I would have shared a lot about St. Mary's College and what we have to offer and what we hope would be to your pleasure and to the betterment of your sons. So this morning, I am here really to just again say welcome because we are now having or putting together our second virtual orientation presentation for our boys so that they can see some of what St. Mary's has to offer. Actually, this Saturday, we are trying something new. We are adjusting with the changing times, and that's what we try to inculcate into our young men to be able to adapt. So we, for the first time ever, are having a drive-through meet-and-greet orientation. And we expect parents to be coming in their numbers and they will drive through, get a chance to see the full layout of this historic and vast school plant and to meet a couple of staff members, their form teachers, myself, the vice principal and so on, members of the past students union and parent support group because we all make up the family at CIC. So, we hope that it will be one, an experience you enjoy. It gives you a chance because we really do not know when we will be back in person in school again. But we don't want you to forget or we don't want you to miss out too much on what the St. Mary's full experience really would be. And as we move on and you start your first year with us and we continue forward, God spare life, we will work with you parents as partners in the holistic development of your sons. And as I said, bringing them from boys to young, successful men, young, successful leaders. So I wish you all the best in our future journey. And I am very excited, and I hope you are too. And I wish you all the best. Stay safe, stay healthy, and may God bless us all. Thank you. Good morning and welcome.
four month students to St. Mary's College. I am Michelle Mohammed, the Vice Principal, and I warmly welcome each and every one of you to this noble institution of approximately 158 years. Even as I welcome you, out of the shadows of the past, they come to cheer us, boys of the old brigade and gallant CIC. You students have now entered the ranks of many of the past students who traversed here before us. Many gentlemen who now occupy professional positions in all spheres of life. I pray that you will have every success with us. I know that we are here to support you all your teachers, your deans, the principal, myself, our past students' union, our parent support group as well. You are surrounded by support. and know that you are in good hands with us. We just need you to do your part. We are proud of you. Continue to make us proud. Continue to excel as you have done in your secondary entrance examination. Continue to shine bright as all our previous students have done who have passed through these hallowed halls. Thank you. If you haven't realized by now, St. Mary's College isn't your average school. As I said before, we create legends. This is a legendary school. Some of the biggest names in Trinidad and Tobago went to St. Mary's College, and you are gonna be just like them. But before you reach there, you need to know where you came from. We are gonna dive into the history of St. Mary's College, and to give us that history, I invite Father Devotail. Hi guys, welcome to St. Mary's College. It was founded in 1863, which is perhaps a little time before you were born. And uh, I am Father Anthony de Verte, an ex-principal many years ago. Just want to introduce you to the college. It's based on tradition, that is what happened in the past, and it's looking forward to the future. You are the present. It's up to you to make the college what it should be. So you need to know a little bit about it, what it was, and you have above all to know what it should be. In the past, St. Mary's began because the schools at that time had no religion. St. Mary's was founded to give an indication of the importance of God, the importance of relationship, with fellow human beings in the context of religion. So it was founded primarily for Catholics, though from the beginning all religions were free to enter it. And it was meant to give an education that was not purely intellectual, something that appealed to a normal human being someone who was interested in the beauty and wonder of creation and the goodness of their fellow students. You are meant, therefore, to come to the St. Mary's College, not alone to become a true man, but also to help others to follow the guidance that you're given at St. Mary's College. The motto is, manliness and wisdom. At the end of your period at St. Mary's College, you should be manly and you should be wise. So those are the two things that we ask you to aim at. Cooperating with your teachers, cooperating with your fellow students, and under the guidance of your parents. So we want to welcome you and hope that you will have a very interesting time 
at St. Mary's College that you will learn and you will contribute to make the college what it should be. So that is what you have to aim at and we are going to try to help you along the way. You have behind me the flag of St. Mary's College, CIC, CIC, College of the Immaculate Conception of Our Blessed Lady, the college being dedicated to Our Lady. So once more, welcome, and we expect you to do your best, not give 40% or 80%, but in everything, give 100%. God bless you all. So that was the history of St. Mary's College. But well, let's give you an idea of what life is like right now at the college. And to give us that, none other than a fellow student, a Form 6 student. Let's invite Johan C. Cooper. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. So glad to have you here with us in the best school in Port of Spain. I wouldn't say the country because the critics would always talk, but believe me, you wouldn't regret coming here. This is the best school in Port of Spain, St. Mary's College. Now, congratulations, everyone. You've made it. This is one big step out of the way. I'm sure you're all feeling very relieved that you opened that slip and you realize that, you know, you passed for your first or maybe second choice, but it's a good thing coming here, right? Now, unfortunately, you wouldn't get the opportunity this first year to come in the school and experience everything Right, but believe me, when you get the chance to, you will more than love it. You will want to have more years because me on my last year here, I really wish I had more time. But saying that, you have new experiences, make new friends, life lasting friends that you will remember 20 years from now. Don't say teachers. From the academics to the extracurricular, CIC is a home away from your home. You're going to love it here. And believe me, at the end of it, you will want more time. Right, so oh, everyone, all the best, good luck. I hope you enjoy it here, and I hope that when I come back, I see some of your names on the top are the best of the best. Good luck, everyone. Welcome to CIC. So you may ask, what makes St. Mary's College different from any other secondary school in the country? This is what I'm going to tell you. We don't only focus on academics here. I knew that you were in Standard 5 and you were studying for your SCA and it was a lot about schoolwork and academics. When you get here, yes, we would focus on academics, but we all about creating an all-rounded young man. In order to become a legend, you must become a legend all-rounded. You must be able to stand in the world of work and know all the various aspects of being a team player. And to do that, you need to have some extracurricular activities under your belt. So when you come here, you can be involved in football, in swimming, we have our own swimming pool. We got tennis. We even have some of the virtual clubs as well that you could join. Photography, debate, you name it, whatever you're into outside of academics, I can guarantee you we have it here at St. Mary's College. So you can make some work and play and make sure that when you head out into that working world after your stint here, that you are well rounded individual. I take a breath. I'm not gonna lose This is what I came here to do I walk that wire and I take that step Won't look down, got no regrets Won't look down, got no regrets I was made for this I was made for this 
And I'm sure that you all were super excited with seeing some of those extracurricular activities. Did you see one particular activity that you may really want to get involved in? Take it down and get ready as we welcome our Form 1 Dean, who's going to give you some more insight into your life as a Form 1 student right here at St. Mary's College. Let's welcome Dean Nigel Sampat. Parents, guardians, sons of St. Mary's College, pleasant greetings in these still very uncertain times. By the time you all view this video, we would have had our Zoom meeting, and then today, Saturday, September 18th, we would have had our drive through meet and greet, somewhat of an orientation. You all have been through a lot. Imagine writing your SEA 2021 examinations on July 1st in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic, and now starting our 2021-2022 academic year, three weeks into term one. It will be remiss of me because we have already met, but it will be remiss of me not to say welcome, welcome, welcome to the Samaris College family. I commend you, I congratulate you, and I look forward to the day when we can be once one together. You have proven yourselves to be the brightest that the primary school has to offer. I am honored that both you and your parents have chosen to follow in the footsteps of our many illustrious sons of St. Mary's College. Today, you become part of that 158 years of rich tradition. I don't need to introduce myself. As you all are aware, I am Mr. Sampath. I will be your son's Dean of Discipline and Academic Studies for this next academic year. I was born and bred in St. Mary's College in 1990, from 1991 to 1997. November 1st of this year is going to make it my 20th year in St. Mary's College. I've been Dean in Form 3 and now in Form 1 for the last 14 years. Some of you may have had sons who have passed through me already. Some of my friends who I attended St. Mary's College with have sons with me now. To my new parents, let me reassure you, your sons, my sons, will be well taken care of. My promise to you at the end of this academic year that I will know each one of them personally. This is something I do not take lightly. As I said before, you are members of the Saints family. Welcome again to the Saints family. What I want for my children is what I want for your children, a safe, nurturing environment. This is especially more important given these uncertain times. Imagine last year, Around October 2020, one of my form teachers did a greeting for the form one of last year, telling the guys, well guys, I will see you all in January 2021. Imagine, today is September 2021, and we have not yet returned to school. We don't know when next we shall meet. I, we, as a college, will do our part to nurture your body, your mind, your spirit. It is up to you, my son. It is up to you, the student, to perform your role by maintaining an acceptable level of academic progress, as well as a pattern of behavior that represents the culture of St. Mary's College. This, gentlemen, is what we are about. We want leaders. We will nurture, we will mold, and we will create the next generation of great men. Parents, we need to work together to ensure their success. Should any of our sons falter, we must be there to put them on track. We must be on the same team. We must have that common focus. In concluding, I look forward to working together with our sons. I look forward to working together with 
my sons, to my parents, to my aunts, to my uncles, to my moms, to my dads, I promise, I promise, I promise to take care of our sons. We are all in this together. This is the new reality. I thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Sampat. And you heard from your dean, but it's now time to hear from some of your teachers. These are going to be your form teachers. These are the teachers that are going to run your classes virtually, and then eventually you're going to see them in person very, very soon. Don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome all of your form teachers. Hey, good day, gentlemen. Welcome to Sumerian Mary's College. My name is Andrew Buckmeyer. I am the form teacher assigned to form 131. Here we say 131. That's the room number in which your class is located. So it's an important number for you to remember and for your parents to use anytime they're trying to get on to you or get information to you or to the dean about you. So again, congratulations on entering St. Mary's College. So this is first of several years that you may spend here, anywhere from five to seven. It's your choice. But we hope you spend the entire seven years and you get to experience all that St. Mary's College has to offer. As you enter St. Mary's College and transition from primary school into secondary school, you are going to be greeted with a host of different changes, new experiences. So you no longer have just one teacher, you have several teachers who will be responsible for you on a daily basis. I am just one of them, just one. And each of your teachers, those who teach you and all of the others who are on staff are just as important and you should treat them just as you would treat the principal or your dean or myself with the utmost of respect. You do that and your teachers will return the same to you ensuring that your experience here is the best possible. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Anne Morales. Je suis la professeure de français de 131 et de 132. Je suis aussi la professeure principale de 132. Bienvenue à St. Mary's College. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Anne Morales. I am the French teacher of 131 and 132. I am also the form teacher for 132. Welcome to St. Mary's College. Muy buenas tardes a todos, buenos días y bienvenidos a todos ustedes al Colegio de Santa María. Yo soy tu, uh, pues, su profesor español, señor Wix. So, not to confuse you, but welcome everybody. Good day, good afternoon, once of us are watching this. And I'm your form teacher, I'm your Spanish teacher, Mr. or Señor Wix. I just want to welcome you all officially to St. Mary's College. You are part of a long-standing tradition of excellence, and like I always say to my students, the excellence that St. Mary's College is known for outside is because of you, the students. So, my role as a form teacher would be to help welcome you, to help you transition into secondary school, and to help your first year in St. Mary's College to be a success. So feel free to reach out to me, and I'm also here to creating you a love for the language of Spanish, the language and the culture of Spanish. So, looking forward to seeing you all. Nos vemos muy pronto. Ciao. Hola, bienvenido, bonjour, bienvenue. Hello and welcome. My name is Ms. Sudar San. I would like to congratulate all students on the excellent SEA results. I would like to welcome you and offer you my best wishes on this beginning of your new journey. Take care and be safe. Welcome to St. Mary's College. It is my pleasure to invite all 175 new Form 1 students to our institution. We are really excited to have you on board. We're happy to have your families on board, your siblings, your extended family. We are really one community. So welcome and congratulations on your amazing SE results. I am Miss Little Page and I am the form teacher and math teacher of 135. I had the pleasure of meeting some of my students already, but this is also to invite the rest of you and to welcome the rest of you to our college. Hopefully I'll get to see you soon in the halls and in the classrooms of St. Mary's in Port of Spain. But at this stage, we continue with online school, though tough, we will continue to succeed and we will continue to, to push and do well.
So I am excited to, to see you all and together with our parents, you know, we will continue to work hard. And um, again, welcome to St. Mary's College. Until that time comes when we meet face to face, gentlemen, all I can say to you is have a great time at St. Mary's, have a great career at St. Mary's, enjoy yourself and be the change in the world that you would like it to be. We are all part of a larger society and we all contribute to that. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Have a wonderful day. Hello and welcome to St. Mary's College. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Ramro and I'm a math teacher and also the assistant dean of Form 1. So do not get yourselves in trouble. You don't want to meet me in the office. It has been a long, difficult journey getting through SEA, and let me congratulate you on a job well done and passing for St. Mary's College. It's going to be a tough task, but with hard work and dedication, you can guarantee success. So welcome again to the family and congratulations. One thing you would learn about St. Mary's College students, we go on to become legends. So you are going to be part of a legendary school that creates some of the most phenomenal young men and even young women that are going to make changes across Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean and the world. And here are some of these to give you a word of advice and a big St. Mary's College welcome. Greetings, my name is Drew Sobian, aka Julius Caesar, Commander-in-Chief of Caesar's Army, Creative Director of Rogue Mass, as well as Ernst Young, Emerging Entrepreneur of 2017. And last but not least, Class of 93, St. Mary's College. I'd like to welcome all you form ones to this magnificent institution. Both of my brothers went there alongside myself, as well as my father, who is a former attorney general. So the sky is the limit in terms of what you can achieve at this great institution. Keep your minds open and welcome to St. Mary's College. Salute! Hi to the incoming Form 1 students at St. Mary's College. I'm, I'm Shaka Hislop. I'm a past student of St. Mary's College myself, a former footballer, and you may or may not know me from working with ESPN FC currently. I remember my time as a, as a Form 1 student, I'd like to say not that long ago, truth is, now that I think about it, it was a firm 40 years ago since I sat in those very places on those desks, hopefully not the exact same desk, but you get my point. I, I say this, CIC for me will always have a very special place in my heart. It still stands as the preeminent academic institution in Trinidad and Tobago. You couldn't ask to be in a better place. It has served me well in so many different aspects of my life, professionally, personally. The friends I made during my seven years, uh, up, to, up to A levels at St. Mary's College, are the friends I still have and hold dearest today. So look around you. There are a lot of people who will share many milestones in your own life who will become the best of friends. There are people who are walking those halls with you that will change the country, that will change the world. There are so many that will change the communities that we call home. That ultimately is our responsibility. And that is what St. Mary's College is tasked to tool you with. The ability to change your own environment, to change this world, your world, for the better. You couldn't be in a better place. You couldn't ask for better teachers, you can ask for a better institution. You can ask for better classmates. Now go out and do that. Live your promise. St. Mary's College is the place that enables you to do as much. At the same time though, enjoy every single day of it. 
these days you will not get back. One day in 40 years time, like me, you'll sit back, reminisce with a smile on your face as to the role that St. Mary's College played in your role. Good day, I am Gary Griffith, a past student of this wonderful school, St. Mary's College. Welcome to the first form students. Let me say from the very start, you are entering the best school in Trinidad and Tobago. In fact, I spent eight years between 1976 and 1984 at St. Mary's College. Why eight years, you may ask? Those years were some of the best years of my life. In fact, I did not want to leave. I made several friends at this school. Many remain my friends to this day. My son, in fact, graduated from your new school just two years ago. I ask you to make the most in the extracurricular activities also provided to you. Uh, in fact, I represented your new school in cricket and football. It is because of this all wrong experience at St. Mary's College that I became who I am today. St. Mary's College prepared me. It prepared me to be an army captain in the military, a businessman, the national security advisor, the minister of national security, and now the commissioner of police. I want to say to you, first form students, nothing is too difficult in life. Just be the best that you can be and enjoy your experience in the number one school in the country. Razataz St. Mary's. Hi guys, welcome to St. Mary's College and congrats for passing for one of the best schools in the country. Uh, my name is Aaron Kubanali. I'm the cricket coach at the college and I'm also a past student here. Again, I hope to see some of you all out there. We have a really robust cricket program. We have a lot of teams that you could join in and hopefully um, we'll see some of you all back out there at some point in time so that you all could come out onto the field, onto St. Mary's College grounds and represent the school. So again, congrats for passing for St. Mary's College and I wish you all the best. Hi, I'm Joshua De Silva. I am a West Indies and Trinidad and Tobago cricketer. I just want to welcome you, all of the new Form 1s, into St. Mary's College. It seems like just yesterday I was stepping in those doors and going into my first class. Um, a little did I know where I would have ended up today, but I have a lot to thank. St. Mary's College has done a lot for me and representing that school has taught me a lot of lessons and discipline. It's not an easy task, but to do well and just put in the hard work in your schoolwork and of course the sports um, whatever your extracurricular activities are, just give it your all. But of course, don't forget your schoolwork. And always, always be respect your teachers. And let's make St. Mary's College proud and continue to pr produce the great men we do. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your first term. And I hope you have a long and happy time at St. Mary's College. Hi, everyone. My name is James Walker. I am the VP of Student and School Affairs with the Past Students Union. I very much want to welcome you back to school this year and to school this year for the first time for those who are joining us from Form 1. And as part of the committee on the PSU, the Past Students Union, we are part of a team that actually builds opportunities for students throughout the course of their life. So of course you come here to St. Mary's to get the best academic education you can, plus the amazing extracurricular activities that you have on offer. But what you also get in St. Mary's is all of these alumni who have done so many different things in their careers and their personal lives who want to come and share the stories with you. So we have activities throughout the course of the year in terms of careers, in terms of universities, how to get scholarships, how to finance your education, personal life skills, and hearing from the stories of people who have gone before you. It's a fantastic institution that's given me and my family so much, and I know it's gonna give you a lot as well. But it's also about what you can give to the school as well. So it's about being energetic, being proud to be part of this family, and contributing whatever you can in whatever way with your time, talent, and treasure. So thank you very much and welcome to the school. Congratulations. For those of you who have been successful to pass for this fantastic school, and we look forward to your school life here and us supporting you in every step of the way. Thank you very much. So I just want to close. God bless you. Welcome to St. Mary's College, one of the finest learning institutions. I was privileged to be here, and like my father, who was also here, and my uncles. And I know that it shaped me, it molded me. Yes, I'm a Roman Catholic deacon. I'm a permanent deacon. That means I'm married, I have children, and I also serve God on the altar and amongst his poor. I am hoping that some of you watching me here will also think about a vocation. And a vocation is not only, um, you know, to be a priest or to be a Roman Catholic deacon, but a vocation is what God has called you to be. Ask Almighty God, God, what are you calling me to be? 
listen to his call. And I hope some of you guys become priests and become permanent deacons like myself. God bless you. Welcome to St. Mary's College. Welcome. My name is Greg Manet. I'm honored to be the president of the Past Students Union and to welcome you, young men, parents, and all who supported you all to be part of this great institution. We have over 156 years of experience in educating some of the best minds in Trinidad and Tobago, and I think you should be really honored to be part of our community, part of our school. And, you know, it seems so far away, but yet so recent. It's almost a paradox, but I've been here at St. Mary's for over 25 years, or just about 25 years, and that's a quarter century, you know, and it seems long, but over that time, I've been able to become a man coming from St. Mary's as a, as a young man. And when I reflect on the time that I've had here, I know that a lot of who I am today is because I was a student of St. Mary's College. And you know, as you come into this new stage of your life, you should always be grateful for your parents because I too am a parent of a St. Mary's College young man. And it gives me great honor to be part of the St. Mary's College Past Students Union as its president, but more to give service to the school again to make sure that you young men will have the best chance at succeeding at an, an institution that has been giving a lot of, of insights and knowledge and, and experience to many people who contributed to our country. You know, it's a different time that we're living in. It's a pandemic. It's as new for parents as it is for students. And I want to say, you know, you all did so well to, to live through that, those 18 months of studying from home, you know, doing exams, um, coming out to school after not being in it for so long. And we don't know what will happen in the next few months, but whatever it is, you could be guaranteed that you have the support of our school, you have the support of our PSU. And we're all in this together as we journey through the next, through, next few weeks and months. You know, just do the best that you could do. There'll be some things that you will need to adjust to. You know, going to, to, to secondary school is not the same as go into primary school. You have a lot more subjects now that you'll have to give your time and attention to. You'll have a lot more reading. It will call on you to be organized in your study so that you'll be able to have a good grasp of the many new things that you're about to learn. So don't be afraid of it because you know changes are sometimes a, a, a frightening, but don't be afraid of it because it's all part of growing and learning and developing. And you know that you have part of a team and St. Mary's College is a big team. You'll have another 100 plus new friends, you know, and opportunities to create relationships. And I'll close by letting you know that the path that I am on in life now was truly um, started by a friendship that I had in St. Mary's College that led me to my current employer and where I've spent all of my work in life. So don't underestimate the friends that you will make at the school because they could be your next business partners and your next, you know, um, um, hobbies, you know, being able to do things that you probably never did before, like kayaking and, and dragon boat racing and, you know, playing at the steel pan. St. Mary's has all those things for you. Be sure to be part of a club. We have many clubs, some of which could even be done online. So get involved, make an extra effort to get involved with this school so that you'll become more and more part of it. You need to do that now because we are living in a, in a world where we are far apart from each other. Let's try and see how close we could get in this space that we have, all right? So well done, gentlemen. I look forward to meeting you in person one day. And until then, study hard, and we're happy to have you on board. Welcome. So you heard from your teachers, you heard from one of your fellow students, you heard from me dean, you heard from me principal. Now I need to teach you something as you enter in form one. Every CIC boy 
will know this. If you go to a football game, you go to any sporting event, no matter what it is, we know it as the Raz. This is like the chant when you come out of CIC. This is the one chant that everybody knows, that riles you up with energy, that gives you that boost before you head onto the field. Listen carefully, right? It goes, a Raz Ataz, a Raz Ataz, a Zim Boom Ba, St. Mary's, St. Mary's, Ra Ra Ra. Come on, St. Mary's. Are you ready to sing this with me? Three, four. Arras, atas, arras, atas, 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 boom, ba. St. Mary's, St. Mary's, ra, ra, ra. Come on, St. Mary's. You better learn your Raz by heart. Word for word, you must know that Raz. Because when you're heading on the intercult field to support the guys, the cricket field, the swimming, anything you're going and support, you must know that Raz. So some of you are probably curious as to what does this school look like? What would my classes look like? What would the labs look like? The music room? What would everything look like? What dong grounds look like? What the swimming pool looks like? Right now, we're going to take you through a virtual tour. So buckle up and get ready. This is St. Mary's College. When I first entered the gates of this school, I was like, oh my, this school is so huge. I knew it would take some time for me to familiarize myself with the different facilities of this school. So let's take you on a tour of St. Mary's College. Welcome to St. Mary's College. Kicking off the tour, we're going to take you to the main office where you could find the clerks, vice principal and principal offices. This is where all of the visitors are led when they enter the college. These staff stairs are for staff only, usually referred to as the forbidden stairs. And they lead to the staff rooms on the first floor. The staff rooms are called the Annex Staff Room and the Big Staff Room. Students use the other stairs throughout the school to access the staff rooms. The Big Yard, it's the center of the school. South of the Big Yard is the Centenary Hall, where we have all of our school assemblies. On the north side of the Big Yard, ground floor are the Form 4s and above the Form 4s is the Form 1 Corridor. The Form classes are named as they are labeled in sequence, 131, 132, 133, etc. This is the order of the classes as you walk down the corridor. The offices of the Form 1 and Form 2's deans are also located on this block, as the Form 2 classes are also located upstairs. Between 33 to 35 students sit in every class, but thankfully, the classes all have AC, so all I get through. So you're gonna be comfortable in your classrooms. You know, when you talk about the cage, you think it's something that an animal would be in or something like that, but really and truly, the cage is just a safe space to, to play sports, right? And to probably, probably line with a friend or two. It's literally just a rectangular barrier separating the car park from the area where we play. So it's not as bad as people like to make it seem. Back to the big yard. This is where all the action happens. Inter-house competition and the intercultural rallies, even staff versus student sport competitions. We have a small gold sweat. You can play basketball, cricket, you name it. All the sports take place during school time in the big yard. Play continues down grounds, both during and after school. Once we return to school, you will head to grounds every three weeks for PE, physical education practical. Academic classes will stop at around 11.15 a.m. and your class will head to grounds 
in the school bus for the rest of the school day. So you get a whole afternoon where you can do whichever sport you would like to do, even swimming in our marvelous swimming pool. You can also see some of the sports day action here. Each student is part of one of five houses. Laval, which is green, Aquinas is yellow, Savio, blue, Lawanga, red, and Bosco, orange. After school, grounds is open for a sports team to train football, cricket, rugby, swimming, scouts, and water polo. Heading back to school, here are some shots of our labs. The IT or computer lab is state of the art. The biology lab. Chemistry. And our physics lab. Then, of course, you have the art room, the library, theater arts, or the drama room, the prayer room, and the chapel. Welcome to St. Mary's College.